Well, now to the troubles on New Jersey Transit. It is a phrase that New Jersey Transit commuters despise the most. There are delays and cancellations on the Northeast Corridor, but that is exactly what happened last night to tens of thousands of passengers trying to get home after a long day of work. They were stuck instead on the trains or stranded at Penn Station. I would news reporter Janice Yu is live at Penn Station tonight with the details. Janice. Liz, I mean, imagine their frustration yesterday when all they want to do is get home and that short trip turned into something a lot longer. But those issues have been resolved today. But unfortunately, people who use NJ Transit regularly say there are far too many delays and cancellations. They say it's just not reliable. And soon, with fares going up, they say they'll be paying more, but the quality of service will be remaining the same. The lack of care and urgency to solve a problem and the disregard for like the effects of it is unacceptable. Emily Grofer and her fiance Liam Fennekin's NJ Transit ride from Hamilton, New Jersey to Penn Station should have taken two hours tops. 10 hours on the train and then 12 if you include us getting to the train and back home from that. They were among thousands who faced delays and cancellations as rail service between New York and Trenton was suspended for several hours on Monday. The problem, overhead wire issues, according to NJ Transit. Patients wearing thin as some chose to get off the trains altogether. Throw your back first. Monday's issues were extreme, but NJ Transit users say they know to expect service delays. I do plan for it, so when I, you know, I always give myself an hour for whatever might happen on NJ Transit. Single lights are always out, late, dirty, they're canceled, they're on standby, everything. You can't depend on them. Frustration only mounting as the New Jersey Transit Board approved a 15% fare increase to go into effect in July. 15% isn't a small number, especially when you're already paying, like, $20. Jackie Cohen works for a nonprofit dedicated to improving public transportation throughout the tri state area. And she says changes need to be made to make sure NJ Transit is more dependable for those who rely on it. We want to see New Jersey invest in transit the same way that the, the same way that New York invests in the MTA and that other states invest in their public transit services. New Jersey is one of the only states in the country with a transit agency of its size that has no dedicated funding for transit. Well, it's worth pointing out this is NJ Transit's first uh, fare hike in nearly a decade. And the uh, New Jersey Transit goes into this upcoming fiscal year with a hundred million dollar deficit. Live at Penn Station, GNSU Channel 7 Eyewitness News.